Shall we come together at second service is about to start? Father, we give you all the glory. We worship you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, for your grace. Thank you for your wisdom in the name of Jesus. If you are here for the second service, shall we just stand up to our feet as we start praying? Hallelujah. First of all, turn to your right and to your left. Say, welcome to somebody. Say, you're welcome to church. You're welcome to church. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shall we just begin to pray? Let's commit this service to the hands of the Lord. Shall we begin to pray that the Lord will take charge in the name of Jesus? That his name be glorified in this service in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we thank you, O God. Father, we thank you for tonight, for today. We thank you for this morning. Thank you for what you're about to do in the service. Thank you for your glory, O God. We thank you, Father Lord. We thank you. We give you all the praise. We commit the service to you, Jesus. Take all the glory. I want you to open your mouth and begin to pray. Decree that the name of the Lord be glorified in this service in the name of Jesus Christ. We give you glory, Lord. Let's take this song as we come into God's presence. You are Yahweh, hey, you are Yahweh, you are Yahweh, hey, you are Yahweh, you are Yahweh, you are Yahweh, Alpha. Let your presence fill this place, Jesus. Oh, give you glory, Lord. Alpha. Oh. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. Yeah, the boss. Give you glory, Lord. Oh, Jesus, you are your way, oh God, oh may you are your way, Jesus. Let your presence fill this place one more time, sing. You are Yahweh, Jehovah. Jehovah, have your way in this meeting, Lord. You are Yahweh, Jesus. You are Yahweh. Oh Lord, thank you, Jesus. You are Yahweh. Hey, Lakota Satayala. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. Alpha. You are Yahweh, Jesus. Ha ha, la toca pat. Eh, le dará vos a Can we just lift up those hands to God? Pray, God, open my eyes. Open down my eyes. That I may behold the wondrous things out of your word today. Pray in the name of Jesus. 
lift up your hands and pray god open my eyes that i may behold the wondrous things out of your word today in this service in the name of jesus let this be a service with a difference in the name of jesus let it be a service that will transform my life totally open your mouth and pray talk to god in the open my eyes, O Lord. Rekato satayala da mandege. In Jesus' name we pray. The Bible says the entrance of the world giveth light and understanding to the simple. The Bible did not say the hearing of the word. It says the entrance of the word. There's a difference. You, the hearing is different from entering. So, so many people hear, but it does not enter. It's only what enters that profits you. We're going to pray, God, let your word get in today in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. The entrance of the word give it light and understanding to the simple. The entrance of the word Give it light. When light comes, darkness will run. Pray in the name of Jesus. Let the word, let there be an entrance, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Let the word come in and profit me today in the name of Jesus Christ. Every bit of the service, oh God, let it be according to your word in the name of Jesus. Let it bring life. Let it bring light in the name of Jesus Christ. In him was life, in him was life, and the life was the light of men. Let the life of God enter into you and become the light that makes you shine. That your light will shine in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Jehovah, in the name of Jesus, let your word come in, O Lord, and light up every dark part. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. I want us to pray one last prayer. Listen to me. Even if you did not come with an expectation, it is good to come to church with an expectation, but even if you did not, you forgot to even have an expectation. People saw you coming to church. They saw you. They are looking at you. They have been waiting and they've been checking your life. See them. See him. He's going again. See her. He's going again. Go. Pray. God, this service, let there be a difference. I will not, go, I will not live the same way I came. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is the last day, the final day of the Emerge Conference. We've had a conference since Friday. And the Lord has been doing this. See, we have been packed and compacted. God has been bombarding the house with miracles and with power. Today, I will not live without mine. Pray in the name of Jesus. I will not go back the same way. Open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. I'd like you to pray. Pray, God, let there be a change. Let there be a reawakening. A reawakening. A re-engineering according to your word. According to your will in the name of Jesus Christ. A diversion to your course. A diversion to your course. To the right course. To the right place. Change my course to yours. Let my will become yours. In the name of Jesus, take charge. Have your way today, O oh God. Take over this service, Jesus. Let your name be glorified. Throw your weight around Jesus. Have your way, Father Lord. Letaka paton zadaya. Erika prasuka da bara bashakaya. Lege lege de bosonte kada bodosa. Inna kapato kusata yada. In Jesus' name we have prayed. It is a glorious service in Jesus' name. If you believe it, I want you to shout Hallelujah. Say to somebody, today is a glorious day. I received my miracle. I have received. And I am going with my miracle. In the name of Jesus. And you, you will not be left out in Jesus' name. Enjoy the service. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody praise Jesus. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O oh Lord. You are wonderful.
wonderful. You are worthy, O oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O oh Lord. Dependable, dependable God. It doesn't matter what comes my way, you are still God. Hey, intentional, intentional God. Hey, everything is working out for my dependable, dependable Father. Dependable, dependable God. It doesn't matter what comes. this morning yeah Woo! somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah because the Bible says let everything that has bread do what praise, praise the Lord, Lord. yes For me, he has taken away my sorrows and I am free. Hey! I got my hallelujah, bro. Hey, hey, I got my hallelujah. Because, 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 because of Jesus, everything has shaken. Hey, 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 hey,
of the Most High. We shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. We will say of the Lord, He is our refuge and our fortress. Our God in Him shall we trust. Surely He will deliver us from the snare of the fowler and from every perilous pestilence. He will cover us with His feathers and under his wings shall we take refuge. His truth shall be our shield and our buckler. We shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at our side, ten thousand at our right hand, but it shall not come near us. Only with our eyes shall we look and see see the reward of the wicked 
because we have made the Lord our refuge, even the Most High, our dwelling place, no evil shall befall us, nor shall any plague come near our dwelling place. For he will give his angels charge over us to keep us in all our ways. In their hands they shall bear us up, lest we dash our foot against a stone. We shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, upon the young lion and the serpent shall we trample under our feet. Because we have set our love upon him, therefore he will deliver us. He will set us up on high because we have known his name. We will call upon him and he will answer us. He will be with us in trouble. He will deliver us and honor us. With long life will he satisfy us and show us his salvation. This morning on Fountain News, Emerge Conference runs up today. Home Affairs and Bishop's Court meet this Saturday. Ruth and Bar's Fellowship also meets this Saturday. Good morning and welcome to this episode of Fountain News. I am Uche Onyekuj. Good morning, Pastor Tyro. It is so good to have you back. Welcome back, sir. The 2021 Emerge Leadership Conference, which kicked up last Friday, has been graced with wonderful and anointed speakers. If you have been a part of the conference, you will agree with me that the sessions have been very enriching, inspiring, and indeed reawakening. The conference runs up today in the two services. So, be assured of a divine visitation and a great reawakening. Home Affairs, that is the Married Women's Fellowship of this church, will be holding her September Hangout on Zoom this Saturday at 12 noon. The webinar code ID is 876-2880-9498, while passcode is HATFOLC21. Please invite your married female friends. Also, the Bishop's Court invites all married men to their monthly meeting coming up this Saturday between 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. And the theme is who you be and it is the reloaded edition and venue is the youth church the event will be streamed live on their instagram handle at bishops court ng the gate pass is invite another man you don't want to miss this are you a macho single or a single parent or a divorcee a widow or a widower here is something for you. Join the Ruth and Boaz Fellowship's on-site meeting this Saturday at 10 a.m. And the theme is God's Enduring Faithfulness. It promises to be a great time in God's presence and so come along with a friend. Don't miss out on the next aerobic session organized by the Fountain Sports Club this Saturday. The time is 6.30 a.m. and venue still remains the Fountain Gardens in Lukbeju. Please come with friends and family. In other news, Children's Church holds both on-site and online today. Please note, the online classes start at 9 a.m. Home Fellowship holds this evening at 6 o'clock. And of course, the Singles Fellowship holds tomorrow at 6 p.m. Bible study continues this Tuesday at 6 p.m. and prayer meeting follows at 6.45 p.m. Do not forget the shower service, which holds on-site and online this Thursday at 9 a.m. The daily webinar prayers, yes, that holds every Monday to Friday from 11.30 p.m. to 12.15 a.m. Remember, you can watch every service live at www.tfolc.org, on the church app, and on all our social media platforms, wherever you go. So, if for any reason you cannot watch, you can just listen to the service live by visiting the same website. Now, if your birthday or wedding anniversary was last week or is today, please rise for recognition. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody praise the Lord. If uh, you celebrated your birthday uh, between Sunday and today,
we want to celebrate today your, your birthday or wedding anniversary. We would like to celebrate you today. Where are you? <laughs> Hallelujah. Happy, 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 happy birthday. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy wedding anniversary. We pray that um, this season will be a turnaround for you in the name of Jesus. Landmark testimonies only in the name of Jesus. Your marriages will be sweeter and it will be from glory to glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Now, at this point in time, we want to celebrate some people. They, we, I call them the VIPs of today's service. So if you are a newcomer, you've just come here today. Today is your first time ever. Please rise up on your feet. We want to celebrate you. You are VIP. Come on. Come on. Let's celebrate them. Today is your first time ever at the Fountain of Life Church. Come on. Celebrate these people. Wonderful people. Our VIPs. Hallelujah. Welcome. Well, uh, Auntie, you didn't want to stand up before. Welcome. 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 Welcome to the Fountain of Life Church. This is a wonderful church that is going to cater to your spiritual needs in the name of Jesus. And listen, if you, have, if you do not have a church, please, this is a wonderful place to be, right? Today, we have an extraordinary service today. Um, but next week, we're going to have, you know, the, the... It's always extraordinary, actually, right? But, you know, today is just a bit unusual. So... When you come next week again, you know, you're going to meet another extraordinary, you know, from glory to glory. But please, um, I don't know if anybody's going to take your number, but I'm sure they're going to take your number very soon. Thank you very much for coming. We appreciate you. God bless you. God bless you. All right. God has a word for us today. It is a fantastic word um, from the scripture, Zephaniah 319. Please open your Bibles to Zephaniah 319. Hallelujah. Are we there? It says, Behold, at that time, I will deal with all who afflict you. Ah, God has declared war. I will deal. See, when, see, when the Bible says, uses, uses some words, it's not just ordinary. I will deal. So, there is permission to deal, right? God is going to deal with those that afflict you. I will save the lame. And gather those who were, who were driven out. I will appoint them for f praise and fame in every land where they were put to shame in the name of Jesus. Wow, God is changing somebody's story this morning. If you are that person, come on, rise up on your feet and declare this word. He is changing your story. He's giving you a, he, he, he will, he's appointing you for a praise and fame. Oh, listen, life, life, then, sorry, before you go on. Life, there's no rehearsal in life, right? This is real life. You need to speak what you want to see. It is your choice. You need to speak it. And I want you to begin to say, Father, deal with all those that afflict me. And then I begin to begin to say, Lord, I thank you because you have appointed me as a praise and a fame in the name of Jesus. Wherever, wherever I've been put to shame, Father, you are giving me fame in the name of Jesus. And it's to your glory. It is to your glory. To your glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, because you are changing my story. It is a different story for me as I leave this place today. Once I receive the word from you, God, Lord, I am going back a different person in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, wherever I've been afflicted, Father, deal, deal with them in your own way in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you because you are making me a fame and a praise in the name of Jesus. Wherever I've been put to shame, you are changing my story, you are changing my status in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We give you praise because your word is yea and amen. We thank you, God, because whoever the Son has set free is free indeed. Thank you because you are changing our story. We give you all the glory and all the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. No go finish our mouth. Abby. So let's go. All right. Now you need to top it up with a dance. Hallelujah. Are you ready? Hallelujah. No go finish for my mouth. Oh. Now goodness and mercy they follow for my life. Oh. Praise the Lord cannot vanish for my heart. Oh. Hallelujah. No go finish. Hallelujah. No go finish. Hallelujah. No 
Please um, give me treble, give me treble on this mic. Okay, put me to say, oh yeah. Um, guys, are you ready? Drum my half now. Oh. oh yeah, now let's go now. Let's mic let's check, do mic test the microphone. One two, one two, one two. Oh. Test the microphone. Ah, oh. Ah. Oh. 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 Microphone, Mind engineer. Check, this thing is, guys. Hey, hey. Oh, yeah. Drama half an hour. Talking drama. Let's go again. Let's begin. Engineer, please increase this thing for me. Guys, guys, let's go. Let's go. No time. That when you entered into my compound, you did not see me to greet me. Eh? That's your castle, sir. Eh? Uh, uh, how are you? So, what's the matter? I heard you shouting. Bro, what's the... Daddy, this vendor. Eh? How can he tell me that your birthday cake fell? Eh? How is that my business? Uh, Daddy, after I paid him good money for your birthday and he's telling me your uh, birthday cake fell, uh, uh, the DJ is not here. My uh, drinks uh, are uh, not here. Oh, ah! hey, do roll, mother. Uh, uh. Is it a 
birthday? No. Ah. Is it a celebration? No. no. So what is now? Daddy, what is your birthday party without the cake? Oh. Ah, ah. Daddy, I paid him good money, oh, Daddy. Farabale. See, I want to tell you something. I want you to go to that apartment. You will see a pillow. And under that pillow, you will see some money. Oh. Oh, Motolani. Take the money and go and order cake. Hey. Daddy, I don't want the money. Daddy, I have spent so much on your... I mean, that is your birthday uh-huh. for God's sake. Oh, Motolani, I said go and order cake, Jare. Go and order cake. Mm-hmm. Okay, sir. Mm-hmm. Peperi pe 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 Say no go de do pass yourself Hello Hello dad Duji Duji Dad How are you I'm all right dad I'm dad is tunes dad I've told you before dad Okay tunes tunes Eh are you on your way to the party uh, um, that, uh, m- maybe not now, that, but uh, that quick one, that um, yeah. I need your keys, that my keys, yeah, the keys to your beamer, that uh-uh. keys to my beamer, yeah, that. Uh-uh. What do you want to use it to do? Ah, uh-huh. come on, that you know, it's your boy, that I have to catch cruise, that uh-uh. you want to catch cruise. What's the meaning of that? <laughs> he goes down with my G's connect, yeah, 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 yeah. No disconnect. Everybody say, I didn't catch cruise for gas. Say, if you talk, you connect. One time. That's it, Dad, you know. I told you I've heard you. Go on and have it. Come on, you're the man, Dad. You're the man. So, are you on your way now? Uh, uh, um, Dad, I'll call you later, Dad. Uh, hello? Uh, uh, hello? Uh, eh? Tunji dropped the call on me. Uh, okay. Mm-hmm. I know what I'll do. Hello, you can call on my daughter. <laughs> Hello, daddy. How are you? Hello, daddy. Oh, you can call I hope you are already on your way. Eh, to daddy, the party. I'm at the market. Eh? I'm at the market. I ordered meat. But more shaky. And these people want to cheat me. Daddy, I want to show them who I am. Oh. Daddy, wait, though. I'm going to count this meat now. Oh, you count it. Oh, you can so count it. Count it. Count it. Count it. No, that's too small. I said it's too small. Make it big. I make it big. Make it big. No, 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 no. That's not enough. Eh, Daddy, oh, you are saying. Hello. Daddy, I'll call you later. Hello. I'll call you later. Ah, oh, you can. I said it's too Eh? Oh, you can drop the call on me. Hey. Oh. Okay. Tunji is coming. Tunji is coming. Hello, Tunji. Hello, Dad. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me put it on speaker. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Come on, yeah. See, Tunji, your friends are all here. Are, oh, are you well, on the well, way well, to the party? Uh, um, are you that, here? That, not yet, Dad. Uh, um, that quickly, um, I need your chain, Dad. And I need your Rolex watch My and um, Rolex. your ring, Dad. Uh-uh. What do you want to use all these things to do? That uh, is your boy, Tunji, Dad. Uh-huh. My blinks have to blink, Dad. Uh-uh. Say, bling, 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 bling. I wanna have it all. Bling, 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 bling. I wanna have it all. Bling, 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 bling. I wanna have it all. Say, bling, 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 bling. I wanna have it all. Oh, yeah. That's it, that's it. Okay, I've heard you. You know what? Go to that other apartment. Okay, that's You can have it all. <laughs> but you see, I want to have this conversation with you. Mm. Uh, no problem. Oh, yeah, that, come here um, now. Daddy, now. when I'm coming, you, that I'll call, I'll call you. Two G. I have to go now. Tunes. He dropped the call on me. Tunji. Omotolani is busy chasing cake. Oye Kosola is in the market chasing Pomo and Shaki. And Tunji is catching cruise. Ah, no, no, this are not my children. Ah, I don't. Ah, finally. <laughs> Somebody that will listen to the. Ah, how are you? Why do you pretend like you're excited to see me? Uh, I am excited to see you. <laughs> Is it not because your other children are busy with other activities? That's why you have my time now. Oh, you see? He uh, doesn't say I just begin because of the way I welcomed him. <laughs> okay. Kwasi, how are you? Dad, 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 dad. Uh, I came out to enjoy fresh air. Today is all about you. Let's make it about you. Leave me out of it. It's not like you even care about me in the first place. Of 
Boss, I care about you. Really? Boss, I love oh, you. No, no, that, that's the most disgusting thing I want to hear from your mouth right now. What do you mean you love me? Yes, I love you. So you love me and you sent me away. Sent you away? Because you only sent him to the United States of America. Oh, spare me all of that. He mentions the United States of America like it's the best thing that happened to humanity. Is there anybody in this room that has not been to the United States of America? That is, like I said, I came to enjoy the fresh air. Let me do just that. He sent me to America. I was in his way. So he sent me away. Oh. Save my life is for it. And I like this eh? uh -uh. daddy oh. hey eh? come, come, come. how much is this money we are talking about daddy this mm. money mm. 10 million naira only hard and 
money only. Uh, so because of 10 million, uh, million naira, you know what? Hi, your father. I will add 5 million naira to that money. To that other yeah. point. Ah, uh, say. Oh, really? Dad. Oh. Dad, where do you get these people from? Tunji. Oh. Dad. Mm. Dad. Mm. Dad, um, the last time I called Dad, I forgot to add that. Um, I need an extra pair of shoes. <laughs> We had been planning this party for months. And every time this guy calls me, he says, tell me, is dad here? Hello, dad. Dad, I need, I need, I need. Are you the only one with an accent? Get out there. Young what woman, is it? You do not talk to me like that. Uh -uh. You see, back in the London state, they don't talk to me anyhow. I bet it's gone. Do you know my name? Tunes. They call me tunes. Nobody talk to me. I'm the first son of this family. What an excuse. Talk to me. Shut up. Shut up. What an excuse of a first son. Wow. Oh, son. Oh, wow. I spend the money here. And I am the first daughter. So you respect me. Ben. And keep quiet. Dad. <laughs> Dad. 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 You do not talk to me in here. Mind the way you talk to me. Mind the way you talk to me. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? You did not talk to me. I'm the first one of this family. Dad. I said, Daddy says, shut up. And you two, keep quiet. You the first one. I said, keep quiet. Ah, you know what? I am no longer interested in your party. Ah. Hey, go. Go, go, hey, go, daddy. It's your birthday. We're gonna party like it's your birthday. We're gonna party like it's your birthday. Daddy, we're gonna party like it's your birthday. Oh, yeah. I know you are joking, dad. Daddy, yeah. Daddy. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Daddy. You are not joking. Daddy, what's, what's going on? Ah. Is your Daddy. Daddy. Have you heard the minister about Sunday? Senator Pokwala. My department in church. Your department in church. Choir. Ministry. Prayer. Protocol. Daddy and Sindere. You will Ah, Daddy, please don't do that. Daddy, I have even invited the most reverend only to roam me. Ah, only do Romi and Hey, Jesus. Ah, 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 ah. It's what you people just did now. It's the word that is made me in this place. Ah, see, before I open my eyes and close it, if I still see you people in my compound, you will know why they call me the daddy of this compound. If you know your Lord, 
you, young lady. Where is your phone? I hope you're happy now. Everything you thought you made that. Can you see? Come on, come on. I thought, I thought all of you, 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 you to keep quiet. Hey, Tunji. You are only concerned about what you can get from me. Anytime I call you to spend some quality time with me, you are so quick to give one excuse for the others to why it won't be possible. Abba Tunji, can't you see that your pursuit of all these things, the cruise and the blinks, has affected your relationship with me badly? Ah. Don't you know that all that I have are yours? Oh, all I am asking from you is that you spend quality time with me. Simple. Oh. Simple. And you, oh, you consoler. Ah. Mm. Come here. Okay. Always carried away with activities. Ah, ah, can you help me to imagine this? I called her and all she was saying was 25 pieces of pomo, 25 pieces of shaki. 25 pieces of Inuera and the one that paid me the most. Oh, she said 25 pieces of roundabout. Ah. Oh, you consola. Always concerned about how the public will view you. Uh -uh. And here you are, neglecting that which is of more importance me. You are convinced that I don't love you because you think that you know how I should love you. Ha! Kosi, I am your father, older and wiser than you, and I best know how to express my love towards you. But tell me, how can you know how much I love you? When your heart is so filled with hate and resentment towards me. Oh, no. No! No, no! No, 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 no. I have put up with your childishness for so long. Hmm? Waiting patiently for all of you to grow up and take responsibilities. My children, now is the time for you to wake up out of your sleep. Uh -uh. Don't you know that you are soldiers? Don't you know that when rioting, drunkenness, strife, and envy are parts and parcels of your lives, that you are asleep? I want you to see yourself as soldiers. Soldiers don't get entangled with the things of the world. Soldiers don't get entangled with civilian matters. As soldiers, you shouldn't be distracted with all these things. Discipline is the key. This is a call for reawakening. Give me your love. It's me again. Forgive. It's me again. I've disobeyed your word. I've slipped tired of your will. Lord, regretful I stand. We again, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, sing. Forgive me, oh Lord. It's me again.
Hallelujah. Somebody say, I choose you, Lord. Somebody say, I choose you, Lord. I remember the story of Mary and Martha when Jesus was coming to their house. The Bible talks about how Martha was busy doing everything uh, while Mary sat at the feet of Jesus. And Jesus would say to her that she chose the best part because she chose him. May we not be so concerned with working for God that we forget the God of the work. Amen. So one more time, say, I choose you, Lord. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Really quickly, um, we are about to go into another level. Um, the Bible speaks about in Joshua 6 when the children of Israel would take over Jericho. And the instruction was that when they would go around the wall six times, on the seventh time, they would release a sound. Uh, and when they release that sound, the walls of Jericho would come down. Right now, we're about to release a sound in the atmosphere. And I need you to understand that it is a prophetic sound. So whatever walls might seem to surround your life, make up in your mind in the next 10 seconds that from the moment we begin to utter the sound, those walls are coming down. If you believe it, say amen. Uh, if you did not come, so people just come to church to mark attendance. You know, expectancy, you must expect to see. If you don't expect to see, you will not get anything. If you came wanting to go back the same way, then this is not for you. But if you came with a decision that in this conference there will be a reawakening, if you came with the understanding that the walls will come down, let me hear you say hallelujah. hallelujah. Be blessed as you listen. Amen, amen, amen. James 4, 7 says, Submit yourself unto God and unto His will. Say no to the devil and he will flee from you. Hallelujah. Do we have armies of God in this place? Yeah. If you are an army in the house, come on, rise up on your feet. And let's do this together. When I say, let the army roar. Yeah. Can I hear army roar now? Let the army roar. No for an answer from the devil. 
of his spirit that will take no foreign answer say if we must have you we must have you we say nothing less than all of you Shall praise your 
Child on Come on, give the Lord a big shout of thank you. I mean, give the Lord. I mean, the Lord. Not a Lord, the Lord. Give the Lord a big shout of I am grateful. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen and amen and amen and amen and amen. Let me say one thing that I really am believing God for above everything. That you're sensitive to this. <laughs> 
spirit, we're ready to kindle it. I'm not joking. It's what I pray for me. Um, when the choir was ministering, I couldn't hold it. The phew, I can't explain it. God was top universe. Indeed, he uses the foolish things of this world. He was ministering to me concerning some of these children on the stage. Some of their parents are begging God to parent. They don't even know what to do to even add to their future financially. He said to me, he said, watch me. Ah. Just help me, if not for you. Just let me lift your two hands and say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I want to say this quickly, Ekule. That's in my language, how to say, how to greet when you have been away, you know, that's right. And let me say what I discovered afresh. Jesus is in this house. I'm not joking. See, it's easy for us to take it for granted. You know, when you're used to what you have, you don't really value it like it is, like the real value anymore, because you're used to it. Jesus is in this house. I saw him all through. Church, what's going on? Jesus, continuously being glorified. <laughs> Miracles were happening. There's Jesus in the fountain of life, church. We honor, we respect the great, great churches of God across the nation. We thank God for the, the uh, blessings to us. But hear me, God is in this house. Help me appreciate the able leadership of Pastor Fred. Help me appreciate every one singular pastor. You know, there have been times when I will be away, Fred will be away, Pastor Kole will be away, Pastor Wenger. Somebody will take leadership and everything will continue. Every word that came from the pulpit were blazing. Word of God, anointed, performing miracles. Some were just exhortations, powerful. Some were teachings. Some were just evangelistic. I mean, some were robust. Some were gentle. We saw Jesus in all his forms. We will, meet, we will finish ministry sometimes. Some of my friends will call me. You're not home? I said, no. He said, who is that guest minister? I said, no guest minister. These are my these are pastors. He said, hey, I've never seen this one before. Did he just join you? I said, no. Many of them are almost as old as fountain. I said, what? I am grateful. What about the 
the heads of departments. What about the heads of fellowships? What about every singular volunteer? We don't pay them. Some will travel from Ogun State to come and sweep the church and return on Saturday night. Some are young with their children in their marriages. Three, four years marriage, two children, they will come here in the night, in the rain, just to rehearse the prayer department, the security, the protocol. Come on. Church care. What with the staff members headed by Pastor Tayo, Tayo able Pastor Tayo. Come appreciate God. Everything was running. Home fellowships were running, Bible studies were running, evangelism was everything was running. Jesus is in this house. I am grateful to God. See how long were you gone for? At least I think I did about eight Sundays away about that. And when you got to come, honestly, I missed church. But we were always in church. But I, I, I wasn't desperate to come. But I'm glad I'm back. I'm glad I'm back. Glory be to God in the highest. Glory be to God in the highest. Now, I haven't greeted you well. You know, this is the closing session of Emerge Conference. Emerge Conference 2021. Glory be to God in the highest. This is the conference organized by, you know, the younger ones amongst us. Our children, yes, but they are parents. A number of them are parents today. Today, some of them are pastoring the parishes where grandmothers and grandfathers attend full-fledged churches. Isn't God amazing? Less than two years ago, and the, almost a whole year consumed by COVID, you know, in spite of that, the tremendous coverage that God has given them and what they've achieved. I showed them to the first service. Let me show them to you quickly. I know you're standing. Come on. You're soldiers for the Lord, aren't you? Can I have all the pastors come quickly? Let me show you to the second service. Come on, quick, 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 quick. They were all here in the 316. And we said, now, instead of you guys just been there, you two of you go here, two of you here, two of you here. And that's it. And we very little, little budget, shoestring budget. And we didn't even give them the money. We said, draw as you need. Some of them are yet to draw, to, to, I mean, to draw out the money. Some are yet to. How much? 10 million in two years. Some of them have not drawn it all. And they're doing the work. They have a place where they meet, they have the instruments. Souls are being converted every day, and the church is grown. Come on, thank God for Jesus in fountain. Hallelujah. I'll just quickly call them out. Um, okay, from there. The, the cave. It's the fountain of life, church, oh, but they are the cave. I spoke, I spoke about his looks. That's fountain in Hollywood. Did we have a discussion? Oh, we did. So why are you afraid that because your son is a DJ, leave him, let him DJ. He will DJ Jesus into their lives. But you just make sure that you have a constant fellowship with him. 
Oh, les filles, oh, les nouilles, sous moi, les coquons. And let me quickly warn parents. Say, my son, I will order him. I hear you. But I want you to understand that you will not be here to order him at age 60. Shut up. So, like I told them in the first service, will he take off the hair tomorrow? I, I believe so. <laughs> what if he's yet to take it up? He doesn't disturb me. As long as I see Jesus. <laughs> I see his fruits. And lies are coming to the kingdom. Pastor, before we criticize you, I'm not living my life for any man. No. I honor men. I respect men. I honor the call and grace of God on men. I submit to some people. But no, I'm not living for any man. No. Praise the Lord. That's the cave. They are in Victoria Island. But they are meant to be lucky. They are, they, are, they are doing their stuff. That's King's Dome. They are in Egbeda. Can you imagine? Can you hear the church in Egbeda? Some of them are roaring in the crowd. We have some of their members here today. Some of them. They can't bring all of them, but they brought some of them. God bless you. These are the bricks. God bless you. We have our 316 here because we have to just leave. Some people still have to do the work for us here in the house. <laughs> and that's Pastor Bisoye. That's Pastor Shobo. Uh, Bisoye. Bisoye. Bisoye is. Uh, <laughs> No, let's still keep some people here. But the next generation, they are ready. You see all of them there. So they can be relieved soon. But when they are relieved, you will hear where they are pastoring. Ladies and gentlemen, what God has started can never be stopped. He said, I set before you an open door, which no man. Come on. He says, I hold the keys. Hear me. And when I open, no man. And when I shut, no man. And as far as you are concerned, I have set before you and open, which no man. That's fountain. Somebody shout, Amen. Yeah. God bless you. Yes. The hopes. Oh, that's a look at you, by the way. This is Ilukweju, by the way. I didn't mention where. It's Ilukweju, by the way. It's a um, 12 industrial estate. <laughs> Amen. Yes, this is the Hope Center, Part of Life Church. <laughs> They're in Onike, Yaba. Doing a great work. Great work. Glory be to God in the highest. By the way, that's. Emisi and Olumide Olavi. Ah, did I mention your name? Her name is Kemi. You know Pastor J. Her name is Kemi. Uh, some of them, some people don't know your name. They know you as wife of Pastor Briggs. Pastor Esther Briggs. Yes. Uh, do you know this man? Tunde Malaolu and N.K. Malaolu. All these people are fire. When, if you leave them here, they will scatter the whole place like that. I thank God for Jesus. All of them. That is the worship tabernacle. Oh. Aku Ajo. Aha. Amuwo Odofi, right there. Amen. 
Yes. Okay, let me get it. Boom. We sent. Okay. We sent two couples there. Um, this is Tolu and Funkeike. Ably supported by Tunde and Toby Badmosh. And they are in Ojodu. Ojodu Bega. You share their people shouting. Glory be to God. <laughs> they are, yes. But don't mind them, all these two too. Uh, something has happened, don't worry. We are separating them. And we are waiting for more. In the name of Jesus. Let the light shine over all over Lagos. If you have it, then sow it. It will multiply and come back. And church, this is what God is using you to achieve. Hey, God bless you. And um, oh yeah, what you do? Beggar. Grace family, church. Fund of Life Grace family. Step forward. <laughs> they are with them in King's Dome. These people, these people, these people, don't mind them. <laughs> Wola, right? Bola and uh, Toby. Debbie Lawson. They are with them. And this guy, they are. <laughs> no more, rara. Fire of the Holy Ghost. And they are doing great work there at Kingsdom. But um, you know, like I said, two couples there. Uh -uh. No, no, no. Too much resources in one place. Uh -uh. Say amen now. They may not say amen, the truth. <laughs> but you say amen. <laughs> amen. Uh, yes. Yes, come. Oh, you guys too. Stand up. This. These are the support team for CAVE. Can you imagine? <laughs> Where is Sarah now? I think I've... Where is Sarah? Okay. All right. Don't worry. Because I didn't show her in the first service. I would have shown her. All right. This job. You know this man? When he was pastoring soft, honestly, I knew in Lagos that some guy was pastor himself in Obomosho. I was feeling the fire here. And again, show up with too much resources in one place. Pastor Tia said, Pastor, don't go there. I said, don't worry, just keep on praying. And so that's Tony and um, Joy. Joy, remember your son? Onu, yes. They are doing a great work. And this is Pastor Fei Olo. Uh -huh. He's yet to introduce the woman to me. He's hiding her. And there's the Pastor Sarah with them. Where is she? All right, that's all right. All right. So here they are. Help me tell them God bless you. Thank you very much. Effectively, they've just done over one year because COVID ate up the whole of the other year and scattered everything that everybody was doing. But for where? They are back, flying. We give God the glory. Amen. You may be seated. God bless you. And so they organized Emerge. And every year they do that. And I asked the question in the first service. And I know, you know, Fountain, we are we're just like that. How many people have been able to attend the marriage? Apart from today, you are part of them on Friday, whether you came or virtually. Just wave your hand in the air. Okay, I think there seems to be a little more this service than first service. God bless you. Oh man, okay. But I really want to encourage you to please you two more. I mean, were you blessed? I was blessed. Pastor Missy took the opening session. Oh my goodness. Then we had Pastor Mildred Okonko yesterday. Oh, she was, in fact, she got on stage and felt at home, kicked her shoes and started jumping. And I was like, then we had Dunsi. He had, 
it was liberty of the spirit. He was spinning and rolling and lying down and jumping up and sitting down. I'm, I'm like, God, how do we? He said, how do you what? The Bible says, where the spirit of the Lord is, there is all of them expressed the liberty. The anointing was awesome. If you attended, you want to sleep in that atmosphere. It was good. We give it praise. Now I would give indulgence to do one last thing for me because I promised God. Can you stand up? Let's celebrate Jesus in the house. Come on, help me. 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 Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus in the house. Come on, give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Thank you for all our children. Whether they are here or abroad, whether they are in Fountain or in another church, thank God for all our children. They carry the seed of God in them. Anywhere they go, they will blaze the light of God. Come on, praise the Lord and give him praise for his presence, for his glory over the house. Father, we give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yeah. Agamatu Alleluia Puru Agamatu Alleluia Because of Jesus every day in the Shakara they do Double the double the heavenly blessing my mother receive God be your grace and mercy always a follow Hi
If the Lord has ever been good to you, say Chineke Idema. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him honor. Hallelujah. As we worship. beside you I know you are wearing a face mask but we'll still see your smile in your eyes look at them if you if your smile doesn't show in your eyes do this hallelujah we give God the glory thank you choir I was on um, my met one um, well I won't say young man he probably would be about my age or slightly younger I met him one of my appointments out there. And from the moment we met, the things he would say, things he would do, things he would, I was like, wait a minute, we're here for a purpose. He knew. He was such an unusual character. Now, I wouldn't know if the guy is a Christian. I wouldn't know. But he said something when I was living. He said, don't you know that it's important that everyone you meet in life try and make them happy? I said, how do you do that? He said, you should be happy in their presence. It's infectious. I just laughed. So I was like, did I look sad? No, 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 I was bubbling. 
Amazing. And that's why when you come to church, make sure that the people around you are happy. I know it's a hospital kind of thing in church, as it were. What do you mean hospital kind of thing? I mean, people come for different kinds of healing, healing of their physical bodies, healing of their pockets, their finances, healing of their marriages, so you don't know what different people are suffering. Some people healing of some relationship with their parents, I mean, some inner healing, emotional problems, and they want to come to receive. Do you know that the word, the music, the singing here can be translated through the capsule of your smile? If they only need to take one tablet. Many years ago, I was reading Kenny Hagen. I still read him a lot. Incredible man. He's since gone over, but what he did will never go away. He said, and he was an apostle of faith. That was all he used his life to preach. He said, you know what faith is? The Bible says, faith is what you begin to see that you haven't seen. You understand what I mean? You haven't physically seen it, but you have seen it. How have you seen it? Because God has said it. But in the physical, you haven't seen it. But how do you walk in faith so you are walking in the unseen physical with a seen conviction? Then what does that tell you? Every of your attribute will be like it has happened. But that would mean that that could mean in the physical that I'm a liar. But I'm not because deep inside of me, I know what I'm fighting. You don't know. And God knows what I'm fighting, as it were. And God knows that the only way I'm going to overcome that sin is by seeing him doing it or seeing him to have done it and I have to now replicate it. So what do I do? I walk, I move like it is done because it is actually done, only I'm connected the finished work with this realm that is trying to deny me. So what do I mean? Pretend. But that's lie. No, it's not lie. If I start to do it like it is, it will catch up. Because at that point, you are midway. The devil is trying to say yes, and you are saying no. God has yesed it. The devil is saying no, but this is it. He said no, yeah, but God has yesed it. No, but this is it. No, but God has yesed it. Now, we don't see that. We can even judge you. But inside of you, you know, and God knows. And you know, the, and another part of it is that God knows that you are walking by faith. We don't know. But the truth is, God will always win. I speak life to somebody's situation now. In the name of Jesus. I, no matter how quarter to closing it is, I stand as an oracle of God and I live. Look, the devil on your behalf, in the name of Jesus. I speak life in the name of Jesus. I speak your victory. I speak your overcoming in the name of Jesus. I want to take my text today beginning from the book of Exodus in chapter 33. 
I will still be referring to what I just started with. Exodus chapter 33. Please, I want to give an indulgence. I'm talking to a conference, and we are all part of the conference. I will read from verse 12. I want you to begin to do what the devil is telling you is not possible before you leave here today. Because your testimony is full. In the name of Jesus, somebody just said something. He said, Pastor, mine is medical. Mine has the five solution. You just said it. Yeah, exactly. I can't even tell you what it is. You are believing God for conception. And everything seemed to have failed. And you are wondering, as long as the Lord live it, in the name of Jesus, this time next year, we'll be celebrating you. I just heard it. Exodus in chapter 33. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to read, as it were, from verse 12. Then Moses said to the Lord, See, you say to me, bring up these people, but you have not let me know whom you will send with me. Yet you have said, I know you by name, and you have also found grace in my sight. Now, therefore, I pray, if I have found grace in your sight, Show me now your way, that I may know you, and that I may find grace in your sight. And please consider this nation is your people. And God said, my presence will go with you. Glory be to God in the highest. My presence will go with you. And I will give you rest. Then uh, Moses said, If your presence does not go with us, do not bring us up from here. Do not bring us up from here. For how then will it be known that your people and I have found grace? in your side, except you go with us, so we shall be distinguished. God is about to separate somebody. God is about to establish you intentionally in the name of Jesus. Your people and I, from all the people who are upon the face of the earth, so the Lord said to Moses, I will also do these things you have spoken, for you have found grace. Look at somebody say, I know that I know that I know in the name of Jesus that I have found grace with God. But if you are not born again, it will happen today. But if you are born again, say it again, I have found grace with God. Uh, for you have, you have, I mean, for you have found grace in my sight, and I know you by name. Eighteen. Then he said, "Please show me your glory." Then he said, "I will make all my goodness, Hallelujah! <laughs> I will make all my goodness pass before you, and I will proclaim, I will declare the name of the Lord before you." I will be gracious to whom I will be gracious, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. But he said, you cannot see my face, for no man shall see me and live. I'll stop there. 
First, I want to draw our attention to two statements that Moses made here before I get a little bit into the context. He said in verse 13, show me your way that I may know you. Uh -huh. uh, show me your way that I may know you. And that I may find grace, I will put it this way, that, and I may find more grace in your side. And then please consider this nation to be your people. Then in verse 18, he said, please show me your glory. Glory be to God in the highest. And let me start by saying, God is in the habit of showing things. Whether it's of his nature or of his character, or concerning you and your situation of how he's dealing with it for you, he will always show you things. And at this point, he was asking questions. And he said, show me. But one thing about the showing me here is that this showing me will help me know you. I need to see you in a way that I will know you. Now, what led to this? In verse 1 of chapter 33, then the Lord said to Moses, depart and go up. Help me tell your neighbor, see, there is a, there is a position for you in the next level. Say it, say it like you mean it. Say you have a position in the next level. No matter what the devil is tormenting you with today, no matter the lies the devil is telling you, it is because God is about to surprise you. There is another level for you today. And so the devil is mad. You know, at a time I was meditating and I said, well, assignments differ. That was in my meditation because I discovered that. He said, why did you say that? Ah. You see, look at David. What an awesome king. Incredible king. Look at his successor, his son. What an incredible king. David left some mark that nobody has equaled and will ever equal. And yet Solomon left some mark that nobody will ever equal. And that she made mistakes. Ah, I know. But it's still on record even in the secular world today that the wisest king or the wisest man that ever lived, they'll tell you Solomon. But you see, can you see father and son, and yet the assignments were totally different. David said, I want to build you a house. God said, I, David, I love your heart. You are an incredibly generous man. But you see, yes, you will be, but it will be your son. Why, David? You are a man of war. You have so much blood in your hand. I, don't, I want your son to build it. And when God puts a blessing, not past you, up into your future, it's a covenant. Even God differentiated them by their assignments. So I, it would have been funny for David to have been saying, God, why am I fighting battles? You are created to fight, David. You are the warrior of Israel. Tell me, how many wars did Solomon fight?
But in spite of the fact that he was a warrior king, there came a time, the Bible said, and, God, and the peace of God surrounded him. There was peace all around. <laughs> and let me just quickly say this. He, he fought until he was appointed and anointed, at least in the physical. After that, he fought to get to the throne. After he got to the throne, he fought to silence the enemy. Peace is expensive. And very, very much so. Peace has a cost. Because of the opponents of peace, those who hate peace, those who have positioned themselves, who have sold out to fight peace. It took God to sacrifice his son. It took Jesus to lay down his life for peace to exist between you and God and between man and man. Peace is expensive. Peace has a cost. Don't make the mistake. I say, peace. And so when you say, no, I'm going to stand, then they begin to judge you. Yeah. Okay. On this occasion, God said to Moses, hey, it's time for the next level. But you see, God used some terms that Sorry to Moses. That Moses could discern like that. Moses was not just a church goer. Moses was a devoted follower of God. So when God said, it's time to go up with these people, not just these people, the people you have brought out. David cut it straight that I have brought out. The ordinary man will not notice that. Why? Because our focus usually is different. 80, 90% or 70, 89% of our focus is how, do, how does it appear? How do I look? How do they perceive me? It's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. The only thing that could be wrong with that is that is detrimental to how God is seeing you. Or perceiving you. So that informed why David said, You said to me, it's time to go up with these people. Great. But you fall short of telling me where we go with me. Now, where a bit, Moses? Why are you talking this way? You've worked with God right from the time that of the Exodus when he brought them out from there. Come on, Moses. Why are you talking this way? Because I had, I've had my struggles. I've come to understand him and I know how he operates. So when the people revolted against him, I was mad. I broke even the tablet. God was angry. And since then, there has been stagnation. But you see, it was the same God that came to say, how long are we going to stand there? Come on, go up. Wow. You know what that tells me? His mercies are new every morning. His faithfulness is ever enduring. Even in his anger, even in his, he still will follow the plan of his covenant for your life. And that's why he will say, in spite of everything, despite all you are going through, I have a plan. I'm taking you to the expected target. Can I talk to somebody here today? You will not fall short. In the name of Jesus. 
I know the devil is hitting you, battering you left and right, trying to tell you how unqualified you are and how lazy you are and how this you are. Hey, it's because he's afraid of you. You are a terror to the devil. And he will not stop at anything to ground you. But you see, God is faithful. God will always take you there. Somebody shout, glory be to God in the highest. And so, look at, they've been grounded. And why? Because ever since they came out, they've been provoking God. Remember the Red Sea, they were saying, didn't we tell you? You said, God, didn't we tell you? I got no graves in Egypt and God still moved forward and even before the Red Sea God when he was talking to Moses he had said to Moses Moses I'm going to ask I'm going to get you to do this for me you're going to bring them out come on that was a feat that had never been performed since the war began that you go in then and save a whole nation of slaves in another nation where they were being held captive if you take God can I say to somebody here today there are many who are bound in certain areas of their lives and there seems to be no way but God has been working on you and you are saying I'm a nobody that's what qualifies you he's going to use you I'm, I'm not joking he's going to use you Moses had every reason he said I'm not qualified I can't God said I will go with you straight the first time I think it's in Exodus 3. And he saw God moved in signs and wonders, moved in the miraculous, I mean, messed up Egypt. <laughs> to the extent that they were happy, they begged them to go, tell me, those who constitute hindrance to your life will be glad to run from you. The Bible says the wicked are fleas when no man pursues. I'm not joking, I mean it. By the time they try and try and try, they will take to, I mean, they will take to their heels. Say so why? Because they won't want you to turn back and look at them. Because if you do, they will, they will disappear. You say why? There is someone with you. And now they are beginning to realize it. They are beginning to realize that you are more than ordinary. And the amazing thing is that this person has always been with you anyway. But he takes your cooperation to get him to be who he really is. From who he cannot change. But in your situation, and to do, he takes your cooperation with faith. So he had, he had witnessed that. And so for God to come to do that, it was exciting. But he noted the way God stated the next move. It was normal. God will always move up. Come on. The path of the righteous has a shining light. It shines ever brighter. Good. And most of God said, it's a land that is flowing with milk and honey. Good. And besides, he said, it's in fulfillment of the covenant which I've made with your prophets. Good. But God said, the people which you, And that explains why you have not told me who will go with me. Because all through this journey, I've never heard you speak this way. And the moment he said that, he said, you remember, you've always told me I have favor with you. Covenant. So in that wise, in trying to design what may be going wrong, show me your ways. Show me where I'm at fault. Show me where I don't understand. Show me where I'm falling short. I'm eager to learn. Help me, Lord. Say, show me your way. Why? That I may know you. I said there is a next level for somebody here today. In the name of Jesus. I said, and besides, you said it. That you see. And I said, and, and also God, 
these people. Can you hear him stating it out clearly now? Spelling it out. And these people are your people. Let me even follow it closely the way it is. I rushed in the first service. I'm rushing again now. Hallelujah. Praise God. Yes. He said, and consider that this nation is your people. Then God answered. <laughs> what, what did Moses do to get God? He stepped into on the band of the covenant. He stepped away from everywhere. I said, no, I'm operating only as a covenant child of God right now. I'm a covenant child of God. Of the covenant keeping God. You said it. I have favor with you. Yes. What's that favor? Covenant love. What's that favor? Compassion. What's that favor? His mercy that knows no boundary. Immediately God said, my presence. Please help me English. When I say my presence, that means that I will personally be with you. We go with you and I will give you rest. I may not come back to talk about it. Look, please hear me, hear me, hear me again. God will never send you on an assignment that he will not accompany you. Your Christian journey, God is walking with you. He's not going to bed. He never sleeps. He's not a man that gets tired. He's never weary. He's never tired. I do. A lot of times I'm sharing, I say, hey, wake up. Ah, it's okay. If role were to be reversed, honestly, there will be times that you will see me too do like this. Come on, let's be true. Let's be truthful to each other. It's true. But God never does. So, he said that, and God said, I will give you rest. That is, you will accomplish your destiny peacefully in the name of Jesus. Even when you are threatened badly, you will walk through. You know what David said? He said, though I walk through the valley of the shadow, I will feel... Why? He was walking, talking in covenant terms. Why? He said, you are with me. Moses said, you haven't told me. Will we go with me? In that same sense, say, goodness and mercy will fall all the days. Before you start your trouble next year, goodness and all the days of my life, goodness and mercy will follow me. You had better begin to clear tomorrow before the devil thinks of it for you. Use your mouth. Will he try? If the answer is not will, whether he will. He will definitely try. He hates anything God. And you are a covenant child of God. So what if he tries? You will crush him. There are certain things that you must know ahead of time. All the days of my life. Yeah? And I will be in the presence of the Lord. That is, he will forever be with me. This is even Old Testament concept. Can I be frank with you again, as I always try to do, by the grace of God? God will not let me sweet, sweet talk you, never. So when they ask me, are you a teacher or a preacher? I don't know, but I talk the word of God. And I hear him I speak, and he will produce results. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> I've seen God where I've seen him where if you see you shake. It was
was one day that somebody was being interviewed. A man that everybody would think is a deep occultist. I think so too. But only God knows people. Please, be careful how you judge people. Huh. They were interviewing him. They said, you are talking Christianity. He said, yes. He said, is it true? He said, it is true. I don't know how to pull away Yoruba. I'm sorry, but I, I tried. I only did Yoruba in Form 1 when I just came to the South. And my dad thought if I remained in Lagos then, I may not be Pastor Taiwo today. So he took me out after Form 1, back to the North. And that was when I did Yoruba. So I was still trying to understand it. But then they taught us Yoruba because the church I went, we read Yoruba Bible, so I can read Yoruba. You know what the man said? He said, Mokpa de Olong, only Mokpa de Jesu. Only Ese Ube or something. I said, I don't understand that. So somebody that heard it, I was saying, this guy said this, what does it mean? He said, there's this part in the bush when you are walking in the, to the farm or to the forest. He said, the part that is, is such that two people cannot pass each other. One will have to step away into the bush for the other to pass. He said, I met Jesus in a place where I, one of us, we had to move. So what was he saying? He said, I met him in a place where I had no choice. I bowed. He said, I am a Christian. At that point, the interviewer, even the interviewer was afraid, he stopped. He changed topic. But ordinarily, if you ask me, I'll say that guy is an occultist. Our Christian journey is such that we've come to a place that is either he bows or we bows, but God will never bow, not to any, not to any creature. We have chosen to bow. And he has picked us up. And now you can't see us without him. It's a union of lives. So that explained why I was asking the question. And after God answered that question, he went on. I mean, this guy was just, that was his, you know those who play card? Those why is it aces they call them? Those why is, is jokers and aces. Ah. The next time when the Buddha said, I will give you rest. Then he said, if your presence does not go with us, then leave us here. In other words, <laughs> hey, I see God here now. <sighs> if there's a place there, but it doesn't have God, I don't want. I am not living. The wilderness with God is better, hello, than the promised land without God. Don't let them deceive you. They are promising you heaven and earth. Based on which altar? The altar of God or the altar of the devil? What are you looking for in life? They are promising you fame and wealth. And many that God carried, they young themselves up. Seeing the lie of the, in the Garden of Eden, he promised them <laughs> what they were, what they already were, and their blindness didn't let them see because they got distracted. He said, you'll be like God. God has already made you in his image after his likeness. What's wrong with you? In his image, in his, in his image after, I mean, after, after his likeness, has put you in dominion. Nothing on earth is superior to you. What are you looking for? You are the God of this world. Then one tiny creature came and told you that you become like God and you now bow to that. You lost God for beat. <laughs> Let me say it again. We are satisfied with Jesus. In fountain, we are satisfied with Jesus. He's blessing us. 
Look at your brethren. Look at their different positions and heights in life. And yet, where is taking you? Only heaven knows. For how will they know? So the Lord said to Moses, Okay, I will take, I will go in their midst. The same God that said, If I go in their midst, I will wipe them out. He said, I will go. Why? Moses was walking on in the, within the band of the covenant. At that point, Moses said, show me your glory. I didn't say this way in the first service. Moses knows that if God says, be sure you, I'm, t- I'm sending you there. It will culminate in his glory. Moses knew that. And when you are now saying, the people you brought, I say, huh? Show me your way. That's why in First Corinthians we find. Let me just quickly quote it. Time. Ah, let's close. I didn't look up. But it's conference. Can I take extra five to seven minutes? Okay. I didn't look up. I'm so consumed by what I'm sharing. There's a lot of lies out there that sometimes I fear. People don't know how to define Christianity anymore. I'm not joking, no. I'm telling you, be careful. Be very careful. Follow the Bible pattern. In your Christian life, in your ministry. Pastor Ronke will call me from time to time in the US. I will go talking one day and I made a statement. I said, ah, uh-uh, Pastor, I said, forget it. He said, no, 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 I want to hear. I said, no, I don't mean to. He said, no, 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 why did you start it? I said, no, no, no. He said, what did you mean? I said, what did I say? I said, that's all I mean. He said, no, 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 I want to hear. But can I just quickly just drop it? How much do you want to run after? Other than God. Those who had the best ministries years back, they don't have it today. Except those who have it in the spirit, they still have it. They have God. I can give examples. The light of the world may not be shining on them, but they are blazing the light of glory. In my few years in life as a Nigerian, I can mention some, some people who rule this country as billionaires. When billionaires were billionaires, now everybody's a billionaire in Naira. I have quite a number of billionaires in dollars. What does that make? Make you make so much noise. No, let's face it. What about this law and Shulam God forbid. The wealth that you don't use to worship God, what are you? Let me leave that for another time. Show me your glory. Ah, see. You will have thought that God will say, <laughs> I, I think you are thinking too highly of yourself. No. Is covenant issue. How much of God do you want? It's up to you. It's up to you. 
my little possession, if you say, Pastor, give me your bank account, I will say, no, Lodi, what should I give you my bank account? Ah. What do I have? That I will even be, uh, that I'll be afraid. God, show me your glory. I said, come. I will make all. Yeah. Uh, uh, is somebody hearing me? Your generation will turn around here this world. In the name of Jesus. By now, you now begin to understand. The moment you begin to look at one woman or look at one man, you are becoming the foundation for another set of people. So, yeah. So, life does not revolve and end with you, only you anymore. And what you begin to do from that time will affect many generations to come. That's when you begin to realize that your life that you value so much is just a seed in the kingdom. Hear this. I will make all my goodness pass before you. I said, let me just tell them what goodness is because I was learning for myself. I said, show me your glory. He said, you make all your goodness. Hey, how does goodness and glory relate? Hear what he says in the book of Strong's. He says, the masculine now meaning property. I will make all my property, all my goods, all my goodness, all my fairness, all my beauty. He said, the root concept of this now is that of desirability of, for enjoyment. He's given us all things to enjoy. Ladies and gentlemen, don't define your joy outside God. It's a trap for the devil. How many women do you want to sleep with? How many men do you want to sleep with? If that's a joy. It brings more woes. All the money we bezel and do this to carry women and go and sleep with them abroad, Abby. <laughs> Shut up. After that, you cook them and eat them. Can't you see the folly of pursuing the world? It is used to identi- I mean, it is used to identify the personal property of an individual. God said, "Oh my goodness, Moses." The plentiful harvest of the land, items of superior quality and desirability, inward joy, the manifest goodness of the Lord. Notably, the psalmist employs the word to describe the state of spiritual blessing. It entails spiritual, emotional, physical, name it. Everything God has made available for our enjoyment. He said, I will they will be at your disposal. That was the way God answered, but I will show you my glory. He now said, and I will proclaim my name before you. In chapter 6, verse 3 of Exodus, he said, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, they knew me as the Almighty, the El Shaddai, the many-breasted one. They only knew me in meeting their needs. They never knew me as the covenant God that I'm locked up with you. We are inseparable. <laughs> hey, everything me will be found in you. Moses, you want to see my glory? I will invoke my name before you. I feel the fire. True, I do. I think we should close. That's the thing I need to hug you. Don't worry, don't worry. I am I'm obeying protocol. I know what I'm doing. Whoop! Why, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let me hold him. Let me hold him. What's that, Bunga? The next level. I'm not joking. Ha! Hey, hey. 
only are you. Can you see? You know what the Bible says? Let me close. It says, now brethren. Ha, thank you, Jesus. First Corinthians chapter one, I'll just read verse 22. I'll read quickly, I won't be able to talk so much about it, I have to close. But I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed the match. Help me appreciate these youths again. When the conference meets you and takes you higher, that's God. Whoever thinks that revival is not in the land, oh, tirini. It has started in the lives of these youths. I'm telling you. I'm not just talking of our youth. Check all over the world now. See the, ah, okay. All right. First Corinthians 1, 22. It says, for Jews, ah, oh, yeah, poor Akasata. No, no, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me jump. Let me start from 26. It says, for you see your calling. I'm talking to you now. Brethren, there are not many wise according to the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called, but God has chosen the foolish things of this world to put to shame the wise, and God has chosen the weak things of the world to put to shame the things which are mighty, and the base things of the world and the things which are despised, God has chosen, and the things which are not, he has chosen to bring to nothing the things that are. I continue, verse 29. Why that no flesh may glory in his presence. He said, look, God, you said the eyebrow man. No, sir, the glory is yours. They are yours. Show me your way. When God said, Joshua, take over. He said, ha! The shoes that Moses wore, you know what God said? He said, as I was, I was with Moses, to whom I said, I am, I will be with you. That's the secret. That no flesh will glory in his presence. But of him, listen, you are in Christ. Christ Jesus, and he has become for you wisdom, hallelujah. He has become for you righteousness, he has become for you sanctification, he has become for you redemption. Why? That as it was written, or it is written, he who glories, let him glory. How? Show me your glory. I see the glory of God on every parish. I see the glory of God on every home. I see the glory of God on every individual here. I see the glory of God in every life here. In the name of Jesus. I won't go into the story where that Paul said, Paul, after all the revelation, say, you know what God did for me? He gave me a messenger of Satan. Eh? He said to buffet me. Oh. I dealt with it several times in prayers. Paul, he said, this thing didn't go. I said, God, why? He said, my grace is suffering. Whoa. God said, we are in the covenant walk. Well, don't worry yourself. My grace is sufficient for you. My favor will never leave you. In other words, you are walking through this. You are climbing to another level. He said, don't you know that if your weakness is defined in a situation and you are in hot pursuit of me, he prepares ground for the best of my power. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. Don't you know? I want this power to be made available. Uh, 
the year that King, uh, that King Uzziah died, I, Prophet Isaiah, I saw the Lord. Wait, wait, wait. So who have you been seeing all these years you've been a prophet? Things have happened in your prof- under your prophetic. Huh? You've prophesied, you've heard God, you've done this, and we've seen it happen. So what are you saying? Said the year he came to Zion died, I saw the Lord. What did you see? He was high and lifted up. Bigger than King Uzziah. Bigger than any king that ever could ever be. His glory filled the temple. Ooh, I saw his glory. And the king they were crying, Holy, Holy, Holy. Moses said, Show me your glory. If that's all a match is calling your attention to, is good enough. But don't forget that the journey to the glory begins with the consciousness of his presence. The consciousness of his presence. He never and will never send you alone. I say it does not matter how terrible your situation is today. You are coming on top in the name of Jesus. I have more to say, but I have to stop. Can I have that song? Take the stage, Lord, and have your way. I'm just, I'm just a, a vessel. I'm just a vessel. And nothing more. I'm and when ready. you're done, please take the glory. I'm satisfied. Shall we rise? Take the stage of my life and have your way. Have your way in my marriage, in my home, in my finances, in my health. I'm just a person in my ministry. Nothing more. And when you're done, please take the Can you imagine Jesus being the king over the throne of your heart? Don't you know that everywhere you appear, they will see the king in you reigning? He says you are kings on earth. It's based on covenant. And when you are done, I want you to commit it to God now. Let nothing hold you back. Men will not understand some aspects of your life. But God does. Don't you ever be ashamed of your weaknesses, of your fears. Cast it before Him. Bring it. In the same place where men were pinching themselves and looking at him, in that same place they will bow. He says, I hold the keys. I hold the key. When I open, no man can shut. Jesus said it, when I shot, no man can, no, no, no man, no devil holds the key. Jesus holds the key. You are joint heir with him. You are seated with him in the heavenly places. Come on. 
He says, I know you. I know your work. I know your strength. I know your weaknesses. Come on, bring them. Bring it all to me. I'm not the one that identifies with your strength and denies you your weakness. No! It's a covenant we have. And I've set before you an open door. Open doors. I say open doors. In every branch and every parish. In every life under the sound of my voice. In the name of Jesus. Open doors. Which no man can shut. I will go with you. My presence will go with you. And I will give you rest. One more time. Glory One more time. Everybody sing with me. Take us faith. God bless Natalia Bassi. And have your way. Have your way. I'm just a vessel. And nothing more. And when you're done. to be glorified in your life it begins with giving your life to Jesus if you are here today you are yet to make him the Lord of your life I will like you where you are to make up your mind and you will say this prayer with me if you are here or you are in the internet world or you are believing God for your loved one there is so much grace here today don't be surprised if that person that you never thought would ever be a Christian will be going to trouble you after today about Jesus, it's because you decided to pray for them, to bring them into this atmosphere and align the covenant keeping God to move on your behalf. Say with me, say, Lord Jesus. Everyone say with me. Lord Jesus, thank you for giving your life for me. A sinner. Now I know you are the Son of the Living God, the Lamb of God slain for the sins of the world. Cleanse me from my sins. Fill me with your Spirit. Take all the glory in my life. Use me for your glory. In your most holy name, Lord Jesus. I have prayed. Father, I commit this once to you in the name of Jesus, both here and virtually. And I ask, Lord, that you will perfect your work in their lives. Give them rapid growth. Send men and women across their path to help them grow. Father, we give you praise. In Jesus' name. Please write down your name and your contact address, your email address, and your telephone number, your WhatsApp number. Please do give it to an usher or a pastor before you leave. We will make contact with you and we'll be praying for you. And one of these days you hear me call you by the grace of God. Amen. If you are sick in your body, do you know something has started today? One of the effects of his glory is that nothing missing, nothing broken. Uh -uh. Even the sea will flee before him. Pharaoh will be buried in his own skins. If you have anything disturbing your life, your health, emotionally or physically, lift up your hands. Father, I rebuke the liar now in the name of Jesus. I rebuke every spirit of infirmity, every strong man from hell, disturbing the peace of homes, disturbing their health, disturbing their children. I rebuke in the name of Jesus. I speak peace over your life. I speak healing. I speak joy. I speak favor and wisdom. Wholeness in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
can you bring out your good offering for Jesus? God bless you. God bless you. And we're going to celebrate the offering. Celebrate the offering before we share the grace. Uh, if you know God has done something for you, get ready to dance. Uh, I'm not going to look at your dance steps because I won't be too impressed. Uh, I, because I'll be dancing my own. Glory be to God. God has been good to me. Huh. Hey, yeah, God has been good to me. Oh. Father, we thank you for the offering and the opportunity to give. We receive the grace for an unusual abundance, even unto every good works. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Agama Puru, Alleluia Puru. Agama Puru, Alleluia Parai. Takara de do double double heavenly blessing na hi ma de receive ai God the address of mercy always the follow ai ye ai ye he has given me victory he has given me victory ai ye he has me victory Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with every one of us now and forevermore. That image is weak. Everybody open your mouth to say, Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set me free from the law of sin and death. And so sin, death, will never have dominion over me because the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells inside of me and he quickens my mother body to the glory of his holy name. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Shout reawakening. God bless you. Go in this Jesus.
Thank you.